Welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today. It's Monday, the 12th of February. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around this morning as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's look at the news. Of course, on Friday, we saw US equities generally edge up again. Tech stocks and the Russell 2000 are performing some popularity in small cap during the back end of last week. Of course, we've got more earnings to come this week, which is likely to influence sentiment going forward. US futures are near neutral in early Asian trading Asian markets are mostly closed today, but the ASX is open and down about a quarter of 1%. European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon, subsequent to the US market continuing to rise after European markets shut on Friday. US dollar trading slightly lower in a choppy session. Gold is struggling to hold 2030 and copper dropped again to continue its bearish picture and is at three month lows. All follows through on that break that we saw on Thursday of a key $75 level on the WTI CFD contract. We're seeing more buying coming in on Friday. Neutral today at this stage. Bitcoin tested two year highs, breaching 45,000. It's trading around 48 at the moment and so high in that key psychological 50,000 level. Of course, earnings will continue to influence sentiment. There's little data of note for release today, but of course, we have got the US CPI tomorrow, which is the major data point for this week. UK CPI and Eurozone GDP are also of interest later in the week. A couple of charts have caught our eye today. Well, like an Accent Group Limited ticket code AX1, you can see there we've had a breach of this key level at 215. This looks a very significant break today up to 230. We could have the potential to move up to around about 260, which would be a significant move to the upside should it occur. Well worth tracking to see where it closes towards the back end of the session. And plenty of upside potential in this one today. US yen looks interesting. If we pop it on the hourly chart there, you can see there we've been trading in a range really for the last two trading days. It's as though we're testing the downside support at just over 149. A breach of that could be significant and pushes down around about 40 to 50 pips to this mid 148 level. That's one to keep an eye. I've already tested twice in today's trading so far. So watch that through the course of the day, particularly perhaps during the European Open later. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.